Hi, Micropunter here. Some people have been asking me about the storage of microscopes and uh, what dust covers um, I use. And so I just uh, decided I'm just going to show you a little bit how I um, yeah, lock away my microscopes and uh, basically how the situation looks like on my workplace here. Um, this is my main microscope at the Olympus um, and usually it is like this that uh, I rarely cover it because I use it so often that it is often not really worth it putting a dust cover on top of it. Not a good reason I have to admit but there is another problem that I have is I do have a dust cover here it's uh, made of uh, yeah soft plastic material but it's too small um, so because uh, of the camera that's always uh, connected into large uh, camera adapter um, it only fits down up to here um, approximately um, it's still better than nothing because the important parts are all covered uh, anyway and this uh, also reduces the accumulation of dust but this is indeed one of the issues that I'm having is, is that those dust covers well um, unfortunately they're not large enough um, so yeah maybe there is a possibility of, of using some other uh, maybe a home homemade system but I don't have uh, I don't have that so then um, let's switch around here because here there is my second uh, microscope this one is uh, the one where the dust cover does fit a little bit better because there is no camera on, on top here um, okay and uh, because these two microscopes are those, those microscopes that I use quite frequently I leave them here on the desk um, because uh, yeah I, I do not want to move them around too much and I do not want to move them away from the cupboard and then back to the table because this is also it's not a not a good idea and just in case you're interested here in the back that is the camera that I used uh, for actually making the videos uh, when you see me uh, sitting next to the microscope and uh, here this is basically all of the, the microscopy equipment and some lamps here at the top okay uh, and uh, but that is basically the only two of my microscopes so now I'm gonna move over to my cupboard that's uh, basically in my cupboard and the reason why I keep them in the cupboard is, is because um, I also want to reduce the dust uh, a little bit uh, the stereo microscope this is the one that I use uh, most often and they're uh, two beginners microscopes and a Lego microscope that I was experimenting around with and uh, some camera adapters are here um, so that is uh, basically the way that I uh, store my microscopes uh, it is not possible to avoid dust completely um, but at least you can reduce it to a certain extent now concerning uh, microscopes, it's like this that uh, my uh, microscope here has a, so a halogen a light bulb and this means is, uh, that when the bulb is hot uh, you should not be moving the microscope because uh, this is not good for the filament and this could increase the chance of the bulb breaking because hot uh, filaments uh, are more sensitive and for this reason it's important that uh, you move the microscope around uh, as little as, as possible um, and uh, usually I keep it just here like this and if I have it set up here then I can use the microscope for working with it and it's also in a nice position for the camera behind here when I'm doing my recording um, of the videos yeah and uh, so that's pretty much it uh, so in summary um, yeah uh, we need a larger I need larger microscope covers uh, that is one of the issues that I'm having uh, right now um, otherwise uh, it is uh, also like this that uh, every now and then I have to simply use a uh, compressed air to de-dust the microscope a little bit and yeah that's pretty much it uh, that I have to say um, I do not really know whether these covers here are anti-static um, or not uh, I mean they are were, they are made for microscopes uh, to be sure um, but I think uh, other alternative possibilities might also be there I've been thinking about maybe making one out of cloth uh, but then there's the problem that uh, if you use cloth uh, then there are small fibers and they can actually also be again a problem but on the other hand they can again have a large surface area so they can catch the dust better so maybe there are always pro and con uh, arguments for each uh, method in any case uh, that's that's it and uh, yeah all the best bye bye and happy micro hunting as always